Screen Team Media. I'm Naya Kete. I live in Los Angeles, but I'm from Massachusetts, and I ended up on Blake's team. I am here. It's an incredible sign. The blind auditions were a whirlwind of just emotion and excitement. It was, and nerves. It was great. And, um, and I feel very fortunate to be on Team Blake. As far as, um, what I'm looking forward to most with Blake is definitely his, his, um, fatherly figure. I mean, my, I come from a musical background with my family. I grew up in a family band. I play, I still play music with my brother and my boyfriend as a trio. So I'm all about really getting involved musically, um, in an, in a more intimate level. And it really seemed like Blake was, it was so second nature about him to be, you know, not just professional, but also get really down to earth and really get invested in his, um, in his team. So I loved that about him. But I think I'm also really interested. I've been to Nashville, Nashville twice to work with different songwriters and I'm not, I don't come from country music, but I feel like I've written the best songs with country songs writers, country songwriters. Um, so I'm kind of, I know we won't be doing any songwriting, but I'm excited to kind of hear his thoughts and I'm, and soak up as much, as much as I can from, from him as far as songwriting goes. Oh gosh, I think people when they see me, I play guitar, uh, they expect, you know, kind of an indie re um, you know, reggae, pop, kind of whatever. And that's, and that's definitely me. I mean, I, I grew up listening to indie re and Lauryn Hill and Erica Badu and Jill Scott, and they have totally influenced who I am, even, you know, take it as far back as Salt and Peppa TLC. I have a lot of women in music who have, um, really, really influenced my music, but, um, I, 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 as far as who I think that I'm the most like musically right now in pop music, I'd say I'm kind of a female Bruno Mars or Adele meets John Legend, kind of pop reggae soul mixed together. I think as far as my career goes in the context of The Voice, um, I am first and foremost so appreciative of every moment up until this point and excited to continue on this road um, for as long as it takes me. And I think no matter how far I'll get in the competition, the experience has definitely impacted my life and my career for the long haul. I mean, I think I'll always be receiving um, positive benefits of this from this experience. Um, I, I, I really have no idea whether I'll get through to the next round or not. And frankly, ev all, everything excites me because I've gotten this far and I'm, and I'm very grateful. And, um, you know, whatever happens next will only be, you know, the icing on the cake.